Hello, everyone, and welcome to Writing Stars. Hello, and welcome to Writing Stars. This is a five course institute we're having online, and we're hoping to help you enjoy writing much more than you have in the past. We're hoping to improve your reputation through writing. And we're also working very much on bringing out the in reasons to improve your own writing rather than just showing you a, a particular kind. So we're gearing this course towards you as an individual. And we have five sessions, approximately 25 minutes each. We start off with a little bit of talk about writing stars, and then we go into a Q&A. My writing teacher partner here is Devere Wolsey. There he is. You can see him online. Hello, Devere. Hey, Karen. How are you? Great. It's a wonderful day, isn't it? To write, isn't it? It is. This morning I was out having breakfast with some friends and one of the fellows turned to me and he said, Hey, Smitty, I heard that you teach writing at the university. He said, I'd really like to learn some things that you've been talking about. And he said, I've got all of these notes that I've kept, uh, but now I don't know what to do with them, where to put them. And so I said to him, Sounds to me like you would enjoy blogging. I said, why don't you participate in our next course? He said he would really like to do that. And he got the idea that maybe blogging wasn't old-fashioned, maybe it wasn't newfangled, that it had just the right cachet for him to be able to get some things down without going to the publishing. He said, I'm not interested in that. He said, I just want to be able to get some of these things recorded. So... Uh, some of the members of my family can understand them so that I can look back on these. And I said, this is absolutely the right way to do it then. And of course, some choices you can make later. You can decide whether you want to publish from it, or you can decide if you want to make some money from it too. And that got him very interested in this as a different style of writing and a different style of getting some of the messages and create out there. So I hope all of you will enjoy that too. This is a booklet you will And you'll notice that you can go to our uh, website that's actually at the front of this broadcast. And uh, I'll just get started today with lesson one to uh, get you going. We're going to be talking about different uh, types of ways of writing where you can throw away that writer's blob in your head sometimes where you sort of get started, but you don't get started, but you haven't got any place to put it, much like the fellow I was talking to this morning. And some of that writer's block has to just do with the frustration of what do I do next? So first thing is, if you start with a blog, you can keep writing and make writing a habit every day. For instance, when I get up in the morning, I will sometimes check into Facebook or something like that. But I've made a habit of actually writing some things down into a couple of blogs that I have. Now, you got to remember that I use a lot of these blogs for work, but there are some that are just my blogs. And one in particular has been very important. It has been the story of my journey through cancer. And I found it very helpful to just be able to write this down daily and from there over time I lifted my own spirits by writing about this and I saw that blogging could really help me to feel a lot better about myself. That's an alteration I suppose but in some ways writing is very therapeutic and I found it very helpful and, and uplifting to do that. So the blog platform that I used was eBlogger found this very easy to use. I've used it for many years and eBlogger is very friendly. You can also see how many people are watching your blog or reading it and you can also block it off to the public so only you have access to that. Just about every blog platform has this ability to 
shut it off to the public if we don't want it to. And so you have to look at your settings for that. And that's what we're going to show you in this course, how those settings and how to work with those settings so that when you're ready to go public, you can, before you go to public, you can actually shut it down and just have the privacy of your own writing. It's a wonderful way to write. And it also shows you immediately what your writing looks like in public without having to go public, if you know what I mean from that. There's lots of other blogging platforms that are very popular. WordPress is one. We use WordPress all the time. Uh, Devere and I are uh, WordPressers and uh, we've enjoyed it a long time. So very easy to use. And the beautiful thing about WordPress is that uh, goes into many different types of formats too and you can also do some of your own um, um, I would say coding on it now if you're not into coding don't let that word scare you uh, even in eBlogger I use coding and I change some of the ways that it would normally look we can use some copy paste to do those the next thing we're going to look at in this program is started with a simple five word formula called writing starters. A beautiful thing to have. If I gave you five words and then you finish the sentence, you would find that writer's block just goes away immediately. But a lot of people don't have a set of questions or a set of writing starters to get them going. And we have a lovely list in our book for that. And our book is also available online in ebook form. And we would like to um, send that to you as well. So if you're an ebook reader rather than a book reader, you will have both formats when you take this course. And I think you'll enjoy uh, transferring from one to the other because nowadays what we do is we work between the two formats. And uh, you will find that that's very helpful when it comes to your audience reading your blog too. So they will often do different things in this day and age. So when we're talking about uh, making this writing starters piece, we're also thinking about sentences that we finish. So I'll give you a starter and you finish the sentence. I might say, I've always wanted to accomplish now finish that sentence now when you do a writing starter uh, first it seems really hard but after a few minutes oh much easier much easier every time here's another writing starter just tap into your ideas this reminds me of then you finish the sentence another one is I wonder why. Now finish the sentence. A further way of doing this is to use picturing. In my mind, I see, and then you finish the sentence. Writing starters are very effective for getting you going on right. And we've got a lovely list like this in our booklet. You'll find yourself writing quickly easily and everybody will be charmed by your writing because these writing starters actually interest the audience as well. They're not just written to be starters for you. They're part of getting your audience interested in your writing as well. Now when we look at our program, Writing Star, we are very interested in you choosing a blog format that you can enjoy. We're going to show you a few of those uh, in the next lesson. And when we show you those, we're then going to move on to let's get started right away. And we're going to move through this as a community of blog writers so that you can enjoy blog writing and you can also enjoy the other people in the course and what they're doing. This community of writers, along with Devere and myself, will support us as a writing community. And we will get better as a group.
watching each other do this. Through that, we will reach this third point called the habit of writing. All you need to do with the habit of writing is to do something on a regular basis. Now, some writers like J.K. Rowling and others, they write late at night, they start at a particular time, they keep going. We've noticed this throughout history that good writers have the habit of writing. So you have to say to yourself, what other kinds of habits do I have that I could train writing habit? For me, my writing habit is Having this with me, I take my iPad with me, and when I open it up, I have notes, and I start writing. That's my writing habit. I don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning and then write. Can I have done that when I did my dissertation for my doctorate. I did that in the morning. I was looking after my ill mother. It was the only time I could find for writing. I have friends who have a lot of children, and the only time they can find themselves alone enough to get in the habit of writing is when other people are not needing them. So the habit itself can be just the habit of having this thing with us for a time of day. So remember that habits, all kinds, are based on repetition of some type, either attached to something that we use or placement in the time of day. Now another thing we should remember when we're becoming writers, writers than we are right now, and I always think of myself as trying to get better and better, we should remember that like Thomas King said, all we are is stories as humans. We should write from a story basis and when we write that way we become very engaged in the movement of the story. We start it out, we see where the action is, we have a conclusion to it. Writing through stories is engaging to our audience to what's going to happen next. What kind of stories have you told in the past? Are you a good storyteller? If you don't think you are, start telling some stories and you'll find you get better and better and better. Everyone has a story. In fact, when you were very young, you began talking, thinking through stories. People would say to you, how are you today? And you would say, I am, I am okay. I am good. And then somebody would say, why are you? And then you would tell, start telling the story of that. That's how our minds connect sentences and work through the telling of them stories. It's a marvelous thing too to find out some of these stories that are hidden, not told, because nobody well, I've got to get it out there. I've got to start. So one of the things we need to do is to take some of these stories we've got, get them down, and then decide, wow, I would like to get this out to some people that would like to hear these stories, so I need to reach my audience. And that's where a blog is very helpful because people will actually search for key terms that you use in your stories. And they'll say, oh, I'd like to hear about somebody who's been looking after an elderly parent. What did they do that I haven't done? How did they get along financially? How did they get along continuing with their job and their children when they're looking after this other person? And how did they survive? A really good story for you to look up, a really good story for you to tell, because somebody else needs to hear that story. Now, one of the last things we'll look at in this first lesson is stories and starters, but you've got to have some staying power. What keeps you? from getting to the higher levels of the blogosphere. No staying power, yes. So when you want to be a writer, you have to remember that that's going to be your new identity. So to get to the higher levels of the blogosphere, to become a better writer, don't just use the habit. 
Take it on as an identity. And I'd like to call you today a blogger. You say that? I am a blogger. Yes. If you start that, you will know that you are a writer. You are part of the writing sphere. You are part of the blog sphere. And blog. Now, a lot of people just writing. It's going to be taking up some of my time. Remember that you will do many things with this. You can be creative. You can get family stories together. You can improve your reputation online by doing this and get better jobs. And also, you can make money at blogging. I was quite surprised the first time I blogged, set up my blog, and then I got a little notice to connect AdSense to it, and then goodness sakes, I started earning $50 a month. What? All I'm doing is writing about digital storytelling. That's something I something I advertise to people as a very important way of telling stories. I used a blog to advertise it, and then I was going, what? I made some money doing this, and that's because people were interested in the topic. So what I'd like you to do now is to say to yourself, what is my story? Am I interested in telling other people? And begin with yourself, your own personal interests. Write down three things that you think would work very well for that. And let's begin blogging. Now I'm going to stop right now uh, from my own little lecture and talk to my writing partner, Devere, who's online with us, and he's going to ask me some questions. I think you covered most of the things that uh, that that we wanted to talk about. But um, what did, what does a person get if they uh, join us? For the for the uh, uh, courses. Oh well, they get this book free, and it is full of our information. They get onto our blog site as well. They're going to be getting information for the rest of their lives signed on to that because we have a blog that has information on it. They're going to get a free uh, ebook that goes with the course, it's the same materials, but uh, they are also going to get very engaging now talk every week on blogging so that they will learn what blogging is and they're going to be able to use their lives to improve their lives. Perfect. I think we've set up a Facebook group so that all of the people who join us will be able to help each other through conversation on Facebook as well. What would the next step be? Yes, that's true. Well, I think the next step for a person who's involved in it is to get their blog connected to our blog committee, a community. And then we're going to become this enormous world up here. We're going to become this enormous blogosphere community. And when people will come to our community, the Writing Stars community, they'll know they're not reading junky stuff. They're going to be reading stuff that's written by people who are grammar stars, people that are creative writing stars. All of these people will be trained in writing instruction. When I read a blog, I, as, a, you know, as an editor of a journal, I get very, very disappointed when I see spelling errors and things written incorrectly and people not referencing things. And I go, oh, why do I have to look up this website? Isn't there some way of monitoring this so I can read something decent? And of course, uh, when you join, you're going to be getting those kinds of instructions. So when people read our blogs from the people that are writing stars, they're going to say, hey, Ace, these are great. These are worth reading. Perfect. Well, it sounds like we're going to have a lot of fun. 
Oh, we are. And it's not just about us too, but I mean, we have definitely taught many people over the years to write. It's one of this that is very important. And I think, Devere, you have a vision for this. Uh, and I know I, I feel that way too. That's why, though you're in California and I'm here in Canada, in uh, Winnipeg, that uh, uh, the distance doesn't matter online. It's a global community and we have uh, started something very interesting here that other people will want to participate in and join. Exactly. You'll have to ask that again. I didn't hear you. Oh, I said just exactly. Yeah, we're cutting in and out. No, just okay. A, that's all right. Now, that is something we shouldn't worry about either. I know that I've been on many broadcasts, uh, Harvard University, various places, and all of these things happen uh, online. In fact, that's a very good example of just a couple of seconds of stop where we're offline. That is just one of the things. It's like going out into uh, for a walk or um, walking down the street to the store. There are a few stones on the street, just one of the things that's there on the way. So we, we'll get past that kind of stuff as we do this, okay? Sounds good. Anything you want to add today? Uh, we just hope that you'll be able to join us, uh, get your own blog going, or restart a blog you've already created. Uh, be able to, to read through the materials that we've put together for you. Uh, the, the templates that we've provided, join our Facebook group, watch us create a blog live in front of you, and then help you work with your own blogs. That's really great. Okay, everybody, welcome to Writing Stars. We're going to be getting an email address at the bottom of the broadcast. You'll be able to sign up there, and we welcome you to becoming a writing star. Thanks. Bye for now. See you later.